right? Uh, if you change a cam, install a cam, or have your engine open for freshen up, you always want to refinish your tappet. So uh, the first step in doing that, anytime you use any kind of power tools or anything that spins, is the first step is tuck your beard in. Uh, ladies, y'all can all skip this step, but for the men, we're going to tuck our beards in. We're going to get ready. So refinishing tappets. You never want to get new tappets. Everybody says, oh, I need new tappets. I need tappets. Why? Uh, every one of them is perfect. <clears throat> so you can see a spinning tappet that's got spin marks on it. And you can also see a non-spinning tappet doesn't have spin marks on it. So... Just chuck about a quarter inch in the drill. I'm going to go with 80 grit first, and I'm going to take all the old lines out. I'm just going to put it on high and run it wide open and lightly run, rub my thumb across it. You put your two fingers around the, the tappet. It's going to get hot, so try to get it done as quick as you can. <laughs> back and forth. I have no more lines from the cam. So now I'm going to swap to 240 grit. The cleanup pass. Now we're going to sand off all the 80 grit lines because we want to smooth tap it. Make sure all the lines are gone. Got to clean tap it. We're going to roll on to do the red scotch bright. Two fingers around the tap it and you rub your thumb across the front. And that is a refinished tap it, ready to be installed. So you'll go through and you'll clean it. Put some assembly lube on it <clears throat> and then install them in the exact same holes they came out of because the tappets are going up and down and they're spinning in each bore. So it's mating to the bore. It needs to go in the back in the same hole that it came out of. Don't just start swapping them around and putting them wherever you want. You're going to have a lot of non-spinning tappets. So I've got mine marked in the front. Cylinder one, cylinder two. Everything's good to go. Uh, now I'm going to go into the tappet bores. <clears throat> I use an eight millimeter ball hone. Anytime you use a, a ball hone, you can't use WD-40 or anything. You got to use flex hone oil. The, the oil made for it or otherwise you'll lose your balls. They'll, they'll all come off of the little fibers and it'll just be a little fiber disc. Uh, and I've also got one of those for y'all to see if you want to order one. Brush Research Manage. Uh, it's a BC6M24 on CylinderHeadSupply.com. <coughs> so this one, I'll, I dip about half of it. I found if the tappet was spinning before i just dip half my brush in and let it drip off and i'll come in if the tappet was spinning before we're going to do 12 strokes basically we're trying to do a cross hatch like we're doing the uh cylinder walls uh now i'm doing like 20 if it's a non-spin so i'm going to start in That was 12. If you want to go back and count, you can go back and count. It's not much. It's just enough. We're not trying to remove any metal. We're just trying to freshen it up. I re-dipped half of my ball hole. Twelve times in that one. Now, 
You'll come in, you'll clean that out, clean that out, clean your tappets, put a symbol on everything, put it back in. <clears throat> then when you crank your engine, every tappet should naturally spin on the cam lobe as long as you're deburring the cams too. And that's how to uh, refinish tappets and bores.